you two been playing with this? Taking turns, scaring the wits out of each other? No wonder I can't get a good night's sleep. <laughs> no, I don't want to hear another word. Now get back to bed, the lot of you! She's a good neighbour. She cares for Peggy Hodgson as a neighbour. And uh, she, she, she wants to help her. She's not entirely sure how to, I think, sometimes. She doesn't have children of her own. She doesn't quite understand the, um, all the toings and froings and the chaos and the level of uh, minding and parenting that that requires. Um, and also, she sees the stress that that her neighbour Peggy is under. And she, so she really does wonder herself if it's real or not. I hung them up hoping they'd keep things from moving around. Has it worked? No, we can hear it all night. They want um, to, to allow their home be a place of refuge. Um, and so they invite the family in again and again and again, and eventually some of the haunting comes with them. And then they, you see them question their own sort of, um, not morality, but their own really good, you know, how, how good neighbours are they really? Because suddenly they find they can't cope, actually. They wanted to be good and kind, uh, but they didn't really think there was anything um, out of the ordinary really going on.